Hello, Ian Saw, President of TFGA with the Weekly Wrap. Last week's wash-up from the Skills Summit in Canberra and the lack of labour in the rural sector is still on the radar. It is clear we have a lack of labour within the rural community. However, we can all play a part in this. If you are a parent, a grandparent or a friend, you should encourage school leavers to have a gap year in agriculture. This may help with getting new people into agriculture. It may allow your friends and children, grandchildren to start streaming for a career in agriculture. And it is the best job in the world. What could be better than feeding and clothing the world using innovation and technology? This week, Hugh attended a water round table meeting of stakeholders, making sure that farmers' views are being represented and their needs are being thought of. Can I say a really big thank you to the members who filled out TFGA's local government survey. Your views were presented to the local government reform workshop held this week. FMD is still on the radar. The state government has employed a traceability officer, which is terrific news. Well done there. Also, the Federal Minister has banned the importation of meat products from over 70 countries. This is a great initiative and certainly helps reduce the risk of FMD coming into the country. Being able to represent you, members of TFGA, is part of our core business. We always have and always will do this in a professional and factual way. To keep this going and keep this trend up, and keep on top of the mounting issues that we are always getting. We are employing another policy officer and I look forward to introducing that person to you in coming weeks. As always, we're very busy and it's a cracker day here today as last week. The lambs, lambing's going very well, 17 degrees. Look forward to speaking with you next week. Bye for now, Ian.